Shots of burn. Shots of burn. Black. Black. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Shots of burn. You can take it straight up on the rock. Shots of burn. On this platform, it goes down. Shots of burn. They know it ain't no cap on shots of burn. I'll take a shot. What up, everybody? Welcome to another shot of brown. Today, I wanted to talk about something. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment, like, only if you enjoy the content. Also, if you support and support and join the SOB family, follow me on Instagram at Shots of Brown. It's much appreciated. I'll be going live on there, adding people on the live, and we have it's a different type of vibe over there. So if you're trying to lock in, lock in. But I had a question for all Auntie Whitney fans. All Whitney Houston fans, um, all the Nippians, just a question, just a, just a question. I was at the house and I was just, um, just thinking about some things and I had a question for y'all. So look, so unfortunately we lost Auntie Whitney very early, um, unexpectedly and there were some people who had their hands in it who still haven't gave a good explanation on what actually took place but we're gonna scratch that and we're gonna get to this Pat Houston um I'd be sitting back and I'd be wondering like why is it that Auntie Whitney fans, Whitney Houston fans still support, still support things that Pat puts together. I really want to know that. Like, what makes y'all still want to support the things that Pat puts together in Auntie Whitney's name? Um, the proof is in the pudding that she really had, she, she didn't really have no real love or respect for Chrissy. Um... The proof is in the pudding, you know, from her daughter exposing the video of her talking down about Auntie Whitney and, and Chrissy. All the reckless, disrespectful things that she said about him. Um, that she said behind closed doors when she thought the world wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? And this is how she, these was her true feelings. This is how she truly felt. She was sitting somewhere with her loved ones expressing her true feelings for my family for auntie Whitney and Chrissy, you know, somebody that you guys love as well. Um, love might be different. It's different, but I'm pretty sure y'all, you know, I know y'all love them as well. So, but it's like, so y'all see that how she truly feels and the love and the respect wasn't never there. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was the things that came off her tongue, when it came off her tongue. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you know, she's still and this is and, and, and this is things that came off her tongue talking about a woman and her daughter where this woman has changed your life, has changed everyone around you, has changed their life, changed your family's life. You know what I'm saying? And even in her death you're still able to to eat and provide for your family off of her name. You know what I'm saying? Um you're not at a you're not working a job. You're able to sit back on your ass for the rest of your life and reap the benefits from somebody else's hard work. But on top of that, you really didn't give Two shits about these people. Know what I'm saying? I will never support anything that you do. I will never, and, and it's sad. You know what I mean, I wouldn't, but I, I can never. So, and, and it's really, it's really effed up for real that I can never really fully support anything in my aunt's name that has to do with her because I know that you and your people reap the benefits of the whole situation, and I'm not gonna. I would be a fool 
to sit here, go pay $20, $30, $40 in a movie theater to go see something that you produce that you're going to reap the benefits off of. I refuse to go and pay for an album online that you're going to reap the benefits of. Um, even with this whole gala situation, one thing I can say, you know, Auntie Whitney, she was real big on um, her charity work, her foundation, giving back and all that. She was real big on that. She, Auntie Whitney had one of the biggest hearts in a human being that I have seen this far. Literally would give you the shirt off her back. Um, but I see you guys are doing this gala, you know, for Auntie Whitney's 60th. That's cool. Actually, it's not, you know, it's, it's not cool. You had no real love for it, and, 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 it's, and it's only about money. Know what I'm saying? It's only about money how y'all you can continue to grease your pockets forever. Know what I mean? So, um, I'll never support anything you do. But my question to the Whitney Houston fans, Auntie Whitney's fans, the Nippings, is, is what y'all call yourselves, I believe. Um, why do y'all support these things that Pat puts together? Knowing that this is, I mean, unfortunately, none of these proceeds, none of this is going to Chrissy. None of this is going to Auntie Whitney. This money is going to grease the pockets of those who had something to do with their demise as well. So what makes y'all want to go and support this, support anything that Pat has a hands on uh, concerning Auntie Whitney. I know that y'all love Auntie Whitney and all that, but y'all see that this is somebody who had no real love. And this is somebody who's being greedy. And um, so she doesn't have to work. She reaps the benefits off of Auntie Whitney's hard work. You know what I'm saying? She would have never spoke those words in Auntie Whitney's face if Auntie Whitney was alive, standing in her face. She would have never disrespected and spoke those words at all. But, um, yeah, it really just pisses me off, though, that these people can come in families and do things like this. You know what I'm saying? Alicia and Pat are one and the same. And, um, they're using people's names to grease their own pockets. And really, at the end of the day, they have no real true love for these human beings god rest auntie whitney's soul god rest uh bobby chris's soul it's unfortunate man that these people are still able to eat off of auntie whitney's name um it's crazy to me i don't know i don't know how it's taking place but it is and um, we just got to accept it. But uh, so my question to y'all is why? What makes y'all want to go and support these things that Pat puts together in, in Auntie Whitney's name? When you know it, it's, it's all a, a money, a money ploy for her. What makes y'all go on Pat's page and show her so much love when her heart was filled, is filled with so much hate? towards the ones that y'all say y'all love. And I'm not judging none of that. I just really be, I really wonder though. I really, I really wonder like what makes people still want to support these things that Pat puts together. That's my only question. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel free to drop y'all answers in the comments um, and just let me know. But me, Shane Brown, I won't be supporting shit that Pat Houston puts together. I won't be supporting shit that Alicia Etheridge Brown puts together. I won't be supporting shit that Bobby Brown puts together. No. And that's just my outlook on that whole situation. But I love and appreciate y'all. Much respect. Drop a comment. Let me know how y'all feel about the whole situation. And I know y'all might feel a, a, a totally different way. Like, well, you know, that's not really our family. We love them as artists and who they was. And so I'm, I might be coming at a different angle with this, you know, because they was really 
my blood family. So I might be feeling different from y'all. Know what I'm saying? And which is fine. We all entitled to our own opinion. We all do what we do. Know what I'm saying? But um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Pat Houston in the comments. Much love. Shots of Brown, baby.